Dog Year Today for Tuesday, June 4th goes to a woman named Linda Fairstein. That name may ring a bell for some of you uh, right now, but I have no idea why her last name is Fairstein when there's nothing fair about her. In fact, her middle name should be Don't Play because Linda Don't Play Fairstein. Uh, by now, you all should have watched When They See Us on Netflix, the latest masterpiece from Queen Ava DuVernay. Drop on the clues bombs for Ava DuVernay. Is there anybody doing activism through art better than Ava right now? Jesus, God bless Ava. All right, God bless Queen Ava. She is truly making a, making a difference on this planet. It is very inspiring, but we're not here to talk about gods, all right, and goddesses this morning. We're here to talk about devils. And Linda Fairstein, Linda Don't Play Fairstein is indeed a devil. Oh, she has allowed Satan to use her in a way I have never seen. See, Satan loves mayonnaise. Satan puts mayonnaise on everything. 90% of all evils in the world have too much goddamn mayonnaise on them, okay? Too much mayonnaise ruins everything. All right, you need just enough, not a lot, just enough. Too much of it ruins any dish, all right? Too much mayonnaise makes tuna disgusting. Too much mayonnaise makes potato salad disgusting. Too much mayonnaise makes any sandwich disgusting. And that's exactly why Satan loves to spread the evil that is mayonnaise everywhere because he wants to ruin things. Now, the human jar of Hellman's we are discussing today, Linda Don't Play Fairstein, she was the former assistant DA and head of the sex crimes unit of the county of New York from 1976 to 2002. And she oversaw the prosecution of the Central Park jogger case. Oversaw is a great word for what she did in this case because she moved like an overseer. Overseers were paid to get the most work out of the slaves. Therefore, overseers often resorted to whatever means were necessary to get what they wanted out of slaves. In the case of Linda Don't Play Fairstein, she was an overseer who resorted to whatever means were necessary to wrongly convict five kids, okay, five. Raymond Santana, Kevin Richardson, Corey Wise, Yusuf Salam, and Antron McCray, who were wrongfully convicted for the rape and assault of a 28-year-old woman in Central Park. Now, there was no evidence tying them to the crime. And at the time, the young men were 14, 15, 16, respectively, and they spent 6 and 13 years in prison before a serial rapist by the name of Matias Reyes admitted to committing the assault in 2002. Now, if you've seen When They See Us on Netflix and you know that the overseer, Linda on Play Fairstein, demanded law enforcement to build the case around these innocent young men. In fact, her exact quote from When They See Us is, Every young black male who was in the park last night is a suspect in the rape of that woman who is fighting for her life. By the way, don't think that quote is a one-time thing, all right? Might be my own black paranoia, okay? My black annoia, but I have a sneaky suspicion that is how they see us at all times. Every black man in America, period, is a suspect for something. That's why they profile us the way they do, because that's how they see us, all right? We have a target on our backs at all times. The exact same way, almost immediately, every young black male who was in Central Park that night had a target on their back. And if you saw when they see us, you know that Linda Don't Play Fairstein was accused of leading intimidation efforts to generate false confessions from these young men. <sighs> white people, uh, Linda Don't Play Fairstein should embarrass you. If you are white and watched when they see us and you didn't feel disgusted, disturbed, angry at the way Linda don't play Fairstein and the rest of those devils in that law enforcement treated those young brothers, then you probably got mayonnaise pumping in your varicose veins too. Now, what is the reason we are all gathered here today? Well, if you know anything about the history of overseers who oversaw the plantation and oversaw the slaves, they sometimes would drive the overseer off the plantation. Oh, yeah. Ever so often, slaves would get fed up and force their overseer off the plantation. And that's exactly what happened yesterday, because almost 30 years later, after watching When They See Us, people are calling for a boycott of Linda Fairstein's books and demanding that Amazon and other retailers remove her novels from their shelves. Who in here feels sorry for her show of hands? Not a goddamn hand in the room <laughs> raised, all right? Let's listen to what one of the victims, Raymond Santana, told TMZ about Linda Don't Play Fairstein. In 1989, when all those articles were written about us in the first two weeks of this case, and 90% of those articles never mentioned alleged, that was the backlash that we received, and, and now she's receiving it. When you do dirt, you can't run. No matter how long it is, the truth comes out, and even though it's 30 years later, she has to pay for her crime, whether it's in the courtroom or whether it's socially, it is what it is. So at the end of the day, there is no correction for her. There is no uh, saying, I'm sorry. We don't want an apology from her. You know, she has to pay the consequence. She has to pay for her crimes. Simple as that. I mean, it was indeed a crime. All right. The real crime, Linda, wasn't 
interested in solving. All right. Linda was interested in sending five innocent black men to prison for a crime they didn't commit. Her hatred for black people trumped her love for her own gender. I repeat, her hatred for black people trumped her love for her own gender. She's so anti-black that she forgot to be pro-woman because if she actually cared about this young woman being sexually assaulted, she would have spent that time, that energy, and those resources on finding the real perpetrator, Matias Reyes, whose DNA was found at the crime scene. Yes, the DNA at the crime didn't match any of the five black young men Linda sent to prison, but it did match Matias Reyes, who at the time of his confession was serving a life sentence for raping three other women near Central Park, in addition to raping and killing a pregnant woman. Oh, Matias Reyes was a serial rapist. Matias Reyes, four months after the Central Park rape, raped a woman in her Upper East Side apartment. That woman got away, and the superintendent of the building was able to hold Matias down, and he pled guilty to raping her, two other women, and raping and killing a fourth. If you keep in score, that's five rapes in total and two attempted rapes. Linda, don't play fast, Dean. I don't know if you realize it or not, but you are complicit in any of those rapes that he committed after the Central Park rape because you had the opportunity to remove the real threat off the street, but instead you was too busy trying to convict five innocent men. Now, I, I don't know if, you know, you felt like you would rather send five black men to jail instead of one. But for whatever reason, you ignored the real threat and that real threat continued to victimize other women. Now, social media has been on Linda Don't Play Fairstein's ass. Oh, they drove that overseer off the, play, the plantation because Linda Don't Play Fairstein has deleted all her social media. Yes, after hashtags like boycott Simon and shoots to win viral and cancel Linda Fairstein went viral. She has decided to cancel her social media accounts. Once again, uh, ha raise your hands if you feel sorry for her in this room. <laughs> Nobody does. I don't feel sorry for her at all. I've seen this play before. See, what Linda Fairstein is gearing up to do, I guarantee, is sue. That is what white, privileged, entitled people do. Even when they are dead wrong, they sue. When they should be holding the mayonnaise, they decide to put mayonnaise on everything and sue. She's going to sue everyone involved in When They See Us. She's going to sue Netflix. She's going to sue Queen Ava DuVernay, the studio production company. She's going to say this film caused her emotional distress and mental anguish. White, privileged people love the word anguish, probably because it sounds like something you would buy at Whole Foods. Can I get a turkey avocado with anguish? and jalapeno mayonnaise, lots of jalapeno mayonnaise. All right, Linda is gonna claim she was traumatized by when they see us and her life has become a living hell because of this mini series. Well, you wanna talk trauma, Linda? You wanna talk living hells? Well, meet Raymond, Kevin, Corey, Yusuf, and Antron. You remember them, right? I mean, I'm sure you've gotten so many innocent black and brown people sent away for good, so it's hard to keep up, but you have to remember these five, right? They were traumatized by your actions. Their teenage years and most of their adult lives were stolen from them. They had to live in a hell. In a, in a cell, you know, you, you want to talk about being traumatized, emotional distress, mental anguish. Those brothers will never truly be mentally healthy because of you. Lifetime of therapy needed because of you. PTSD, anxiety, depression forever because of you. Reach out to one of them. Sit down and have a conversation with one of them so you can really see and hear what a victim sounds like. Because Linda don't play fair, Steen. You are not one. All right. You don't get to play victim to a set of circumstances that you created. I don't understand how people don't respect the laws of karma. I don't care who or what you are, karma, karma, karma comes back to you hard. Word to Lauren Hill. There is a natural law of karma that vindictive people who go out of their way to hurt others will end up broken alone. I don't know your circumstances, Linda, don't play fair, Steen, but it's not too late for you to end up broken alone, and you deserve it, okay? If you end up broken alone, you earned it. You got a mighty God to answer to, and there's no amount of white woman weeping that can make anyone feel sorry for you. You can whimper, snivel, blubber. I wouldn't give a damn what mayonnaise flavored, you know, liquid comes out of your eyes and smears your mascara until you properly apologize to those five young men and finally acknowledge that they're innocent. No good is going to come to you, okay? People like you create their own storms and then get upset when it rains. People like you create your own sandwiches with too much goddamn mayonnaise and then get upset when it tastes disgusting. You can't even start the process of forgiveness. Linda don't play fasting until you apologize, okay? Repentance is a process and not something that happens in one particular moment. It requires consistency, and you've only been consistent with the lie that these men are guilty for your own sodium-flavored mayonnaise-based soul. You need to start the process of repentance, okay, by admitting the truth, but you won't. All right, America hasn't apologized or attempted to correct the evils of slavery and Jim Crow segregation, so it's just not in your nature to apologize for something you did wrong. You're just following pale face protocol and reminding the world that mayonnaise is truly Satan's favorite condiment.
Please let Kathy Griffin handle my white work and give Linda, don't play Fairstein, the biggest hee-haw. Please give this giant jar of mayo the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh.